All right, what's up, Gamecock fam? Good Tuesday evening. Uh, so this is going to be my preview vid for uh, the game this week, and we've got Auburn rolling into town. Uh, the old Albies coming to the Willie B. So I think this is going to be, I think it's going to be a tough, uh, close game. You know, and, and just because it's us, I know Auburn's going to give it, you know, everything that they've got. So. But before I get down into the nitty gritty of this game, I just want to throw some history and some stats out there for you guys real quick. So uh, let's just go over that real quick. So there actually hasn't been many games played uh, between these teams, uh, considering, you know, looking back all, all time, uh, there, there's only been 12 uh, all-time games played uh, between these two. Uh, Auburn does lead that series 10-1-1 uh, with one tie, uh, back in 1932, followed the next year uh, in 1933 by South Carolina's only win uh, of the series. But four of the last five have been uh, decided by eight points or less. So, you know, like I said, it, it, this week's game, you know, this year, it's going to be another close one. Um, so uh, let's, uh, let's look at some stats here now. So points per game. Uh, Auburn has, uh, they're averaging 21.7, uh, whereas we are 30.7, uh, points per game allowed. Auburn's at 22.7, we're at 25.3. Turnover margin, uh, Auburn's coming in at, uh, slightly winning at, you know, point, uh, plus, you know, 0.7, and we break even at zero. Defense for Auburn, uh, throughout the season so far has totaled six sacks, one interception, and 13 pla uh, pass deflections. And South Carolina has seven sacks, two interceptions, and nine pass deflections. And finally, we're gonna look at total offense and defense. Total offense for Auburn is 328.7 yards per game to South Carolina's 397.7. And total uh, defense, Auburn has allowed 40 uh 421 yards per game to south carolina's 330.3 now you can't really look into these stats a whole lot um you, know, you can't read into them too much there i mean you know just kind of looking at the you know because we did play vanderbilt last week um but you know kentucky uh Auburn did play Kentucky uh, in the first game, so it's kind of hard to gauge, but, you know, that's just the stats for you guys. I uh, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, <clears throat> so, get back into this game. Let, let's break this down and start talking about this thing. So, like I said, I mean, I do believe this is going to be this is going to be a close game, uh, and this is going to be one that's it's going to be tough for us to win. Now, Auburn is uh, coming in as a uh, three-point favorite, uh, so that's the spread on this. And um, yeah, I think it seems about right. You know, Auburn, uh, they're kind of a little iffy right now, and I don't. I think they're you know they have talent and stuff, and they have the capability. Uh, it's to be a certain kind of team. But I don't think they're quite uh, where a lot of people thought they would be or projected them to be. And, you know, honestly, uh, you know, if it wasn't for the questionable officiating there at the end of last week's game, you know, instead of two and one, you know, Auburn's looking at one and two. So, you know, it's, they, they've, you know, that, so they, they've kind of had a questionable start to their season. Uh, you know, and us, I mean, we started 0 and 2. We finally get a win last week. So, um, but, you know, hopefully we can continue to improve starting with this game going forward. Because, look, this is going to be, uh, you know, what, what we refer to as a, as a hinge game. This is going to be a turning point game, uh, you know, on the season. You know, can we continue forward with that momentum, win this game, go 2-2, two and, two, and set a good tone, you know, going forward? I mean, I hope so. And, and I believe we can. You know, if we stick to our game plan, and we go out there and we do us, you know. I, I, I think this is a this is a very winnable game for us. So with that being said, uh, let me kind of give some uh, end game predictions. Uh, you know, give the keys to victory, uh, and you know, talk about a few other things. So uh, my keys to a game victory in this game: uh, number one, 
as is a case, you know, as is the case a lot of times in SEC games, is the battle in the trenches. You know, South Carolina has got to play well up front on both sides. You know, offensively, we've got to be able to block for uh, Chill, which, uh, by the way, is a new nickname that's uh, uh, trying to stick for Colin Hill there. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, you know, we got to give Chill time. Uh, and I think it's fitting. I mean, the guy's just calm, you know, cool, collected. I mean, he, he doesn't sweat stuff. You know, he just gets out there and tries to play. So, uh, but, you know, they've got to block for him, give him time. And we've also got to get a good push and open up some holes and make some room for, for Big Kev, uh, you know, carrying the rock back there. So, and then on the defensive side of things, we got to be able to get some pressure. Uh, you know, and Bo Nix is a guy, you know, he's mobile. You know, he can move around. He can extend plays, make some things happen. So, you know, we definitely got to keep tabs on him. And we're going to have to, you know, be able to kind of get some disruption uh, in there and kind of try to throw him off. So, you know, defense is going to have to break through, you know, up front on the line, get some pressure, hopefully get some sacks, uh, you know, force some, force some bad plays. Uh, next, uh, next key for this uh, is going to be explosive plays. And it's concerning both sides of the ball. So I think what South Carolina is going to have to do is – First off, on the defensive side, we have got to limit the explosive plays from Auburn. Because, I mean, if you give Auburn the space and the opportunity, I mean, they're, they're, they'll make plays on you. I mean, like I said, they've got the talent. Don't doubt it. Uh, and, you know, that's the thing I'm looking forward, you know, to with our defense this week as well is us being able to make those open field tackles. We've got to be able to make those tackles out in space. We can't have another situation like we did with, you know, Florida, uh, you know, week before last and you know that situation with tony where you know you got five guys on one guy and then he's just able to get through all of it and boom he takes it to the house uh we cannot be having any of that or we are going to regret it so you know i mean not saying that we're going to be able to stop them every time but we need to limit uh you know those kind of plays we can't be missing a bunch of tackles and we, we got to make tackles out in space because auburn's going to spread it around you know, they're going to get their guys, you know, out, out in space, you know, give them an opportunity to make a play on the ball. So we've got to be ready for that defensively. But, you know, like I said, so just trying to limit their explosive plays. And then on the offensive side of that, we got to create some explosive plays, uh, you know, whether it be, you know, uh, you know, taking some shots downfield, breaking off some big runs with, you know, Big Kev or one of the other backs. You know, we so we need to try and – uh, you know, at the same time as we're trying to, you know, limit uh, Auburn, uh, you know, def you know, defensively and getting their offense off the field, you know, when our offense is on the field, they need to take advantage and, you know, they, they need to take a couple, uh, take a couple swings, you know, we, we, we're going to need some big plays. So uh, that'll be the second key. And then uh, my third and final key for this game, which I think is always important in a football game, but I think definitely when you look at these two teams, because they're similar uh, with, with, with this, uh, as, this aspect here, uh, is going to be the turnover margin. South Carolina has got to win the turnover margin here. We've got to take care of the football. We've got to play smart. And we need to be trying to take the ball away uh, from them, you know, to you know, to be able to get their, like I said, get their offense off the field and, and get ours back out there and get our defense off the field so they can get some rest. So I mean, hopefully we can get to the ball and maybe take it away a few times. Uh, and, you know, so hopefully we can make some of those plays. So you know, turnover margin is going to be key in this, and we've got to win that battle. We've got to come out on the plus side of that. Uh, that you know, greatly you know, fortifies our chances of winning. So. Uh, that's it for the, the keys to the game. Uh, as far as my predictions, um, I foresee, you know, I, I think Auburn's given up, you know, a pretty decent amount of rushing yards, um, you know, per game. So uh, I, and I think we actually average a little bit above what they're allowing. Uh, so, you know, and, and I think, you know, if our offense – our O-line, you know, and our blockers and stuff, if they can continue to do, you know, a solid job. And, I mean, with the performance that we've seen out of here so far, you know, I think, I think Big Kev is going to have a pretty good day. Um, 
I, I believe he'll get 100 yards in this game um, and at least probably one score. Uh, hopefully, uh, Hill has a good day, uh, and I think he's going to take care of the ball uh, like he did last week. Um, you know, and I, I think he's going to do good with that. And I think hopefully Shy can get a little bit more production this week around. Though it was good to see that because they, you know, because Vanderbilt did commit to, you know, trying to cover Shy and limit him, it's good that we've seen some other guys step up. But, you know, it's a little bit, you know, it's, it's a different. It's a different team this week, though. You know, it's just, this isn't Vanderbilt that we're playing, so we're still going to need these, you know, those guys to step up and make some plays. Well, you got to be catching the ball, so I'm going to be looking forward to that. But I think, I think, I think Chill's going to have a good day, and uh, and, and I think you know Xavier Leggett and some of the other guys. I, I think they're going to be able to you know make some plays, you know, come down with some balls in this game. So, uh, so I think that's 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 my predictions uh, with that. <clears throat> So, with all that being said, to kind of sum this game up, like I said, this one's going to be close. And, you know, I know personally for me, I don't know about, you know, other people, but I'm pretty sure there are others as well, I mean, that are just kind of itching to, to finally pull one out against Auburn. Uh, you know, especially when you look at the fact that the last few times that we played them, we should have, we should have won. Uh, you know, and I go back to, the you know, the, uh, the year after – Cam Newton back in 2011, I mean, that was a game, you know, at home, we should have won that game. You know, that, that game, I honestly just, it, it frustrated me so much. It, it kind of made me sick in my stomach because there was no reason on why we should have lost that game. Uh, you know, we lose that one 16 to 13, and which now, you know, as much as, I mean, I do love the guy, you know, he did a lot of good stuff while he was here, but yeah, some of that can kind of be, you know, contributed to Garcia's uh, extracurricular activities, if you know what I mean. But, <laughs> um, and, but there were some other things wrong with that game too, tackling, you know, stuff like that. It's the same thing that we're gonna have to deal with this week. So, um, you know, we should have beat them then, and then you know, and then we go, you know, just you know, last time that we played them, you know, ended up coming down to. You know, the game was decided by seven points. And I, I, if I remember correctly, I actually think we were ahead, I, I believe. And I think, um, you know, we let them get in front of us. And then we just we ended up losing. So, I mean, that sucks. Uh, so, yeah, definitely ready to, you know, finally get a win against these guys. And I, I think with the confidence uh, boost, you know, coming out of last week, I, I think the guys are going to be pretty much ready to go. Yeah, and, and, and hopefully the coaches have got them prepped and, and ready for this. Um, I like the fact that we have this game at home, and I think that is going to play to our advantage because, you know, I, I think there's going to be as many people there as, as there can possibly be, be, and I think they're going to make it pretty loud. Uh, so, you know, I, I think we'll have an advantage there. I like the fact that we have this at home, and hopefully we can take advantage of that. So, uh, but... Like I said, it, like I said, it's going to come down, you know, to just which team can do just that much more, um, and hopefully that's going to be us. So, and I am uh, predicting us to win this one. However, I will, uh, you know, I will give it to Auburn to cover, you know, the points because I like I said, I think this is going to be a close game. Uh, I don't think there's going to be too awfully many points scored in this, you know, in this one. Um, not sure how comfortable I am with putting exact numbers out there as far as what the scores may be, but I think it's going to be probably somewhere in the range of, say, a 29 to 26 or like a 31 to 28 type game. Uh, so, like I said, nothing too high scoring. Um, but I do, I will, I do think we're going to see a decent amount of offense in this game, uh, but also a lot of defense. So. Uh, but yeah, so I mean that's 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 my thoughts on it. Like I said, I, I think you know I think as long as we go in there and we play up to our potential and we take care of business, I mean this is a winnable game for us, and this is one that we really need because like I said, this this is a turning point game here. I mean if we can get this win here, that's just going to further build the confidence and the morale of the team. And it's going to, you know, kind of start turning some heads. And, you know, if we can turn that into more wins following this one. I mean, you know, before you know it, you've 
completely turns your season around after starting 0 and 2. So, yeah, it, this is a real, you know, this this is going to be a, a big game. I think I think this is one of the biggest game of the seasons, you know, of the season for us. Because like I said, this is this is where, you know, we either, uh, you know, try to continue forward uh, with with success, or if we just flop, and then, you know, who knows about the rest of it. So definitely going to be a big game, but uh, I think we can uh, I think we can pull this one out. So. Yeah, but we'll just have to wait and see, so hopefully. All right, well, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, that'll be it for this video. Um, try to push out some more stuff uh, as the week goes on. But until then, uh, this is J-Rock saying peace.